Hi, Barry Thompson from Powerboat Magazine. In this week's episode of Knowing Your Trailer, we're going to be looking at pads or bunks versus rollers. Now, a lot of US boats come in on pads. Pads are great if you've got a nice steep boat ramp. The boats will come off easily. The, uh, the difference in New Zealand is we do a lot of shallow launching, particularly if you're doing off beaches. And with pads, they're a real bitch because you have to put silicon on them or Teflon strips to make them come off easily. I, I've had a lot of bad issues with those. I've never run pads on a big, big boat. On a small personal watercraft, they're fine. A little, little boats, no problems at all. Something up to about four metre tinny, great. But I like rollers. Now, multi-rollers. Now, what are they? What we've got here is an eight and a half metre boat with a six mil bottom, got a brand new DMW trailer matched to the boat with 48 rollers. So all the pressure points are dispersed right through the hull. And that's the secret. You've got to get the match the boat to the trailer and then you won't have a problem. So whether you go pads or multi-roller, you've still got to look after your trailer. So with the pads, it's easy. You just give it a bit of a hose down and clean it off. With the multi-rollers, they also need hosing down and cleaning off. And just keep an eye on your, your pins here, your washers, and all these joints here. They should be greased, but they should be firm but not tight and not too loose because they form the shape of the boat as it's going on and off. They work really well. So that's really my look at pads versus rollers. And I know your trailer series next week, we're going to be looking at lights and the regulations and a little bit of maintenance and care to make sure they work all the time.